What's up guys? Today, we're gonna get into assist hooks. The type of hooks that you could use, an economical hook that you could buy in bulk packaging, and what's the best hook for the job, as well as we're gonna get into assist cord. Line diameter, color selection, material in the cord, such as Kevlar core, inner core, outer core, metal wove and metal core. Um, we're using some fun products we've been talking about by and we're excited to share those to you. But first, we're gonna catch some fish. We're just a few guys that decided to pursue our passion as we hit destination fishing spots in our local waters out of Pompano Beach, Florida. We wanna fill you in on what we have learned along the way. So I was just like relaxing, listening to a little music, bumping my head to a little bit, and I was about to retrieve my jig. And a lot of times when I retrieve my jig, what I'll do is I rip it. In other words, I'll reel real fast, and then I stop for a second. I slow pitch in that area, and I'll get hooked up quite often as soon as I stop and, and my first flutter down. Anything chasing it will hit it. But at this particular time, I started ripping it, and then boom, he hit it on the way up. One thing I know for sure and I've learned in the past is that if you want to keep a kingfish, don't hand line it. I know that for sure. And I wasn't particularly interested in keeping this kingfish, so I just reached down. If I got him, I got him. If I didn't, I didn't. You know, I reached down and boink, it popped off, which I'm cool with. It's not a big deal. Here's something interesting, guys. So I just had that king on and um, I'm using our Kevlar cord and you can see it's actually, it's it's been bitten through uh, quite a bit, but they're still kind of hanging on there. So the Kevlar cord definitely, you know, has some defense against the um, toothy critters versus like the PE line is just gonna is gonna go every time. So that's not that's not the metal core. It's just Kevlar core. As you can see, I've got one of my assist hooks just just hanging on by a thread, and then the other one is almost chewed off at that point but um unfortunately he came on glued right there at the boat but not a big deal just kingfish but um that was pretty exciting hooked up baby well there's a little bit of current but we got into under 200 feet so i downsized to 150 gram fire jig oh, one man. of my favorite jigs to fish off the bottom um and it has really good flutter on your pitches uh, it seemed to work just now. I actually have a, a measure of the 30 pound devil line wire woven leader on just because when we're getting into the shallower water. In the kingfish territory. Yeah, concern for kings, ideally wahoo, but you know, I'm hoping to hook up with a decent king or who and, and be able to land the fish. And... Oh, this is a great rod to fish. This is the Temple Reef Innovate. Eight foot zero. It's rated for 100 to 400 gram jig. No. no. Benny likes to say there's a little bit of a learning curve with this rod. Uh, he came out with us and put it in my hands, and within that first drop, I was like, "Yeah, I think I'm gonna add this to the, to the arsenal." It's a mutton. Mutton. You got a mutton. A keeper mutton. Yeah. Chris got a keeper that mutton a off keeper. the bottom with yeah, the right fire the bottom, jig. That's why I love this fire jig. Nice mine. around, felt like... Oh, that's a keeper all day, right? It's 
check it out. Yeah, so check this out. Well, that thing's been slapped around. Yeah, right this fire jig's about a year old, and you know, we're low, we have low stock, but we have a bunch on the way, and I, something just said we're getting a little shallower. I wanted a jig with a 150. I saw this staring at me out of my jig bag, so I threw it on. Exactly what I, I always tell people, bottom species seem to love the red, gold, orange palette. With and what do, you, what do you know, back. my first, with a, yeah, this has an all silver holographic back, but what do you know, my first fish of the day is a mutton snapper off the bottom with the red, gold, holographic fire jig. Yeah, and check this out. I have a, a measure of the 30 pound test high teen devil line on here here i am fishing with a leader material and i have a mutton snapper on my jig so no worries there yeah now for today's quick tip <laughs> all right guys let's dig in so i want to talk to you about a couple of hooks that you can get in bulk packaging that works for tying assist hooks uh, we use them because they're accessible to us as well as they work so the first one is the Mustad O'Shaughnessy. This is a great option. It's a wide gap hook. It has a sharp point. They're very easy to get. You can buy them in any store, any local store, and they come in a hundred pack. That looks something like this. This hook has a point that points outwards. So with that being said, the only downside to this hook would be that it's more likely to get hung up on the reef or get caught up on structure because of the way that the hook points. But another thing to know about this hook is that you're gonna wanna set with it. So this hook with the point going outwards versus a circle hook with the point going inwards, this hook will need to be set, but you're gonna get a deeper set on the fish. The next hook that I wanna talk to you guys about is a recommendation from our friend Benny Ortiz, and this is the Gamagatsu 510 hook. This is a great option. It's a little more expensive than the Mustad, which you can get a hundred pack for around 18 to 20 dollars, versus you get a 25 pack of the Gamagatsu 510s for 18 to 20 dollars as well. The great thing about this hook is it's a very sharp hook. It's a very strong hook, and the barb is on the outside, as you can see. And the reason why the barb is on the outside is if your jig fouls up, in other words, the hook wraps around your leader line, it's less likely to nick your leader line and fall off. Let's talk about assist cord. Oh, assist cord. So I tie a lot of the assist cords that you guys may be using on your jigs. Um, and like John was just mentioning, uh, one of the staple hooks that, that we use the majority of the time is the Mustad O'Shaughnessy. Um, I do buy uh, the whole variety line that they have from uh, the silver hooks in 5.0 and 6.0 to the bronze hooks also in 5.0 and 6.0 as well as the black nickel which is not currently in my rigging box. Um, so that being said, we'll talk a little bit about line. So our staple line that we have tied with since the beginning of Johnny Jigs is right here. It's a 300 pound Kevlar cord that's in black. Uh, to be honest with you, we love using red. Red is a very difficult Kevlar cord to find. And when you do, um, it also seems to have some materials in it that allow it to melt under intense heat pressure if you're using shrink tubing um, over top of your snell knots on the shank of your hook. Um, so we've spent some time exploring and trying to find manufacturers for assist cord. Uh, we love this 300 pound Kevlar black cord actually by Emma Kites uh, Kevlar line. You can get a spool of this which is 100 feet for about 14 or 15 dollars. That'll tie you a whole mess of assist hooks and you will be uh, economically efficient having a good stock of assist hooks. Another fun thing that you might have heard us talk about in some of our previous videos when we were experimenting with some, some braided lines uh, that are with stainless steel um, is a company we stumbled on called, and this is a trade secret, ready? Hytina. Hytina. Hytina is based in Tampa, but they're also a Japanese company. 
and uh, I got to speak with Gabe over there who set us up as a dealer for Hytina and we are carrying a lot of their, their assist cord products now and they have a, quite a variety of assist cord line for the guy or gal that wants to get into uh, tying their own assist hooks. Um, this right here that I have is a Kevlar core uh, pink um, and this is 320 pound test and they call it number 40. It, the diameter is 1.05 millimeters. Uh, when it comes to line, assist line, I, I've talked to some of you guys that, that prefer to use one millimeter and even slightly less than that. Uh, what I tie with is this number 40 uh, Hytina line in 1.05 millimeters and our 300 pound black Kevlar cord is 1.18 millimeters. I'm not looking to go thicker than 1.18, and when I'm looking for a cord online, and I'm talking to a line manufacturer, I'm looking for one millimeter to 1.2 millimeter. Check out what was inside this mutton stomach, you guys. We got a little, little bit of a lobster, like a baby lobster. Seafood medley. Some, some squid. All the, all the, all the good stuff that we like to eat. That's what makes uh, mutton snappers so tasty. They eat what we like to eat.